Have you ever heard someone say that you shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth? It means you shouldn't be ungrateful when you receive a gift. But what secrets lie hidden in the mouth of this majestic creature? Let us find out by studying a tooth of a horse under the scanning electron microscope. Hello, my name is Milo. And I'm Elina. In this episode, we will study a real tooth that was extracted from a horse, by a professional dentist, of course. According to the owner of the horse, the tooth was removed as it caused a lot of trouble. So let us find out what's so special about it. We believe that the valuable information lies within the tooth and simply studying its surface won't be enough. Therefore, we will also discuss how to prepare these kind of difficult samples for scanning electron microscopy studies. So let's get started. In this case, we need to study the interior of a sample that has a rather peculiar shape. Therefore, we first drown it in a special vacuum epoxy and wait until it has hardened. Next, the sample is precisely cut to reveal the sites of interest and also polished to obtain a high quality smooth surface. The dust is afterwards removed with pressurized air. In order to make the surface of the sample conductive, a thin layer of platinum is also applied by magnetron sputtering. Finally, the sample is attached to a mushroom shaped holder and inserted into the microscope through the main door. All the preparations have been made and we can start our studies. Where should we begin? The first line of defense on a tooth is the enamel. Let us examine its condition. As can be seen from the image, we can clearly distinguish the dentin, enamel and the surrounding epoxy. Furthermore, the tooth is filled with cracks. Some of them may have been introduced during the sample preparation process but some may have been there already before. The enamel also appears to be less porous than the dentin. This makes sense as the enamel of a horse tooth has to withstand chewing a variety of foods that include carrots, twigs and grass. Hmm, the very top layer of the enamel has a slightly different appearance. Let us examine it in more detail with greater magnification. Should we also map the distribution of elements to see if there is anything different? Good idea number one, make it so! A higher magnification image clearly shows that about 140 microns of the enamel's top layer is littered with countless microscopic cracks. Mapping the distribution of elements in the same region with energy dispersive microanalysis also reveals that the surface layer has been slightly depleted of calcium and phosphorus. This also explains why the surface had become weaker. So that's how we learned more about horses with the help of a scanning electron microscope. What's your favorite animal and what should we study next under the scanning electron microscope? Let us know by writing your thoughts to the comments section below. Bye! Bye.